Hi everyone, my name is Tom and I'm working on New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon. If you don't know what it is, it's a game about the bridge converting into a park. And you as a business owner, you find this opportunity to build food shops and serve customers. Like any other food shop, yours will require ingredients. So you'll be able to buy ingredients from the market or build your own factories and produce your own resources. And the goal is to monopolize the bridge and get rid of the competition. This week, I was working on UI changes. I'm a software engineer, I'm not a designer, which means my initial UI sucks, and I need to improve it to make the game look much better. So the entire week, that's what I was focusing on. I started with redesigning the shop UI. This is the current UI of the shop. The shop has a storage, a list of upgrades, and some other options. And as you can see, everything is scattered all around, because initially I thought it would be a good design. On Tuesday, I was trying to redesign this, and I came up with this design, where everything is organized in one nice window, where you can see all the options for your shop, the upgrades list, the storage, and then the debugs for stats. Overall, I got a positive feedback on this, and I agree that it's much easier to have everything organized in one window than rather scattered all around. So after designing the window, I started implementing that, and I remembered how much I hate doing UI. Everything is fine, but I have this bug. When I initially open the window, it looks like this. And in order to fix it, I need to reopen the window four times. And on the fourth time, it looks fine. I'm not sure why it's doing that, I, <laughs> I will have to look into it. But for now, this is the state of the window. And, uh, and overall, so far, I'm happy with the result. I decided to add another UI window to the game. This one is to list all your properties. So you'll have a list of all your shops and a list of all your factories. I'm doing this because I realized that the bridge is enormous and after a while when you get 10, 20, 30 shops it will be very annoying to run around the bridge and look into your shops. So the property window will just list all your shops and if you click on one of the rows it will instantly take you to one of those shops. So you don't need to roam around the bridge trying to find what you're looking for. Also this week I tried to make in a rebrand for the YouTube channel. I added a banner, changed the logo and I also started working on a trailer for the Steam page. I got a feedback that the page really needs uh, some sort of a trailer, at least to show the gameplay. And that's what I'm gonna do. The trailer is gonna be very simple. Obviously it's gonna be the initial trailer and it's probably gonna replace it in like a month or two. But I hope this will help me get more wishlists on the, on the page. Anyway, these are the news for this week. Uh, please wishlist New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam. And I will see you next time.